Hey everybody, long time no see. Um, I am going to be starting a new series today. So the series is going to be me talking about my favorite products from a particular color category. Uh, today I'll be talking about red. Um, I'll work my way through the rainbow. Um, I may include brown and black. It just kind of depends on how I'm feeling because some colors I have like a lot of and then some colors I don't have a lot of products for so I don't want to like do a whole video on three products so it just kind of depends on what's going on how I'm feeling about it what products I can decide are my favorites that sort of thing um, but today like I said I'm going to talk about red um, eventually I will be doing a rainbow video which means uh, for that video I will be talking about the products that are in a series or in a collection that are going to give you a wide range of colors. So stay tuned for that one because that one's going to be probably my favorite. Um, but today let's talk about red. So red is probably one of my favorite colors to wear. Um, I love to do my nails red. I love to do my eyeshadow red. I feel like it's just one of those really fun like pops of color. Um, along with blue and um, yellow and well all the colors are great but red in particular is one of my favorites. I'll go ahead and um, swatch the lip products for you on my lips so that you can see what it looks like on uh, and then the eye and cheek products I'm just going to swatch on my hand um, and any products that I'm wearing today will be listed down below as products I am wearing and then any products I mentioned will be in products I mentioned pretty easy to follow. So the first product I want to talk about today is a red eyeshadow and red eyeshadows if you have been looking for one or um, if you know about red eyeshadows at all they are very hard to come by um, especially a true red. Um, I really like a lot of burgundy shadows I think that burgundy is a really nice color to offset um, your eye color depending on your eye color especially if you have green eyes or um, if you have brown eyes or well even blue eyes you can really offset the color of them with a burgundy shadow. Uh, burgundy is an easy way to incorporate red into a look because it's a little bit less intense than red um, but a true red is really hard to find so I'm going to focus more on true reds in this video as opposed to burgundies. If you want me to do a video on burgundies just let me know. Um, so the first product I want to talk about is a red eyeshadow by ColourPop and it's this one right here. If I can get my camera to focus. So this is in the shade Blitzen. I don't know if it's still available. I think it might have been a limited edition but ColourPop is really great at doing sort of the more untraditional colors especially in their um super shock shadows which is this is what this is it's a uh it's what i'm wearing on my eye right now um it's a really vibrant red with a lot of fun glitter in it and the super shock shock mm, super shock shadows in particular are one of my favorite eyeshadow formulas to put all over the lid um they're not like the easiest to blend in the crease all the time. I did all right today with just a little um, synthetic brush that has like short bristles to just kind of make the shape that I wanted. I wanted to go for this kind of winged out eyeshadow shape, just kind of blown out. Um, but this color in particular is probably one of my favorite super shock shadows. I can't say that when I'm talking too fast. Super shock shadows that ColourPop has ever made and that's saying a lot because I really like the formula. Um, they've got some really great silvers, greens, blues, purples, um, golds, bronzes, anything you can think of pretty much they're going to have a super shock shadow for but this red one in particular is amazing so if you can get your hands on it I definitely recommend it. The next product I want to talk about is actually sort of a glitter um, and it's this one right here. This one right here by Shroud Cosmetics. Um, I think that they renamed their company, if I'm not mistaken. It used to be, hold on, 
Yeah, it used to be Strobe Cosmetics, but now it's Shroud Cosmetics, and they do um, the Creepy Cute palette and a couple of other palettes that I really enjoy the colors in. I'll get more into those in the Rainbow palette because I feel like um, the Creepy Cute palette especially is one that you can really find a lot of good colors in. Um, but this glitter is so pretty. I don't know if you can see it in the thing but it's kind of got like a green orange reflect to it i'm gonna go ahead and swatch it on a glitter base so that you can see what it looks like all right so this is it swatched right here i've also got it on my finger um let me get up close here but it's just like this really pretty red sparkly color it's got light yeah excuse me, it's got lots of reflex in it, which are really cool. So it's not just like a red, but it adds like a little bit of something to it. That actually leads me into my next product, which is a pressed form of pretty much the same color. It's a little bit different. If you're not into loose glitters, then this one might be for you as opposed to the loose one, because I know loose ones, sometimes people feel that they're too messy. They don't want to deal with the jar. They don't want to have to deal with getting it out. So it's actually this shade right here. Ooh, my cat's knocking things over. So it's this shade right here, which is really pretty. And this one is called Scrumptious. I'll go ahead and swatch this one for you as well. This one's a little bit more of like a creamier feeling eyeshadow. It's not going to be powdery or dry. It's got a little bit less glitter to it, but it still has the same kind of feel being that sort of red shade. It doesn't have as much of the reflex that the glitter has, as you can kind of see. It's a little bit more of a true red without any of the green kind of flashes in it but yeah so those are probably my three favorite red eyeshadows at the moment um, I've been using them on my eyes for pretty much everything because I've been doing red this week um, so I got these nail polishes which is not like really um, part of the video but I got these nail polishes from uh, Simply Nail Logicals uh, hollow taco line and they have like these um, hollow glitter um, I don't know how she describes them I think that she calls them linear hollow nail polishes uh, and I've been doing red the past like couple weeks pretty much so hair hair in my mouth um, but she's been doing these hollow glitter ones. She came out with them in the middle of June and I got them and I've been doing red and I've been loving to just like throw on a really quick red smoky eye. So I've been using those a lot and then I've been using also some from the rainbow series that I will do video of. Um, but I'll show you the other palettes that I've been using for super bright colorful eyeshadows as well. Next I want to talk about a blush. Now I know you're saying to yourself, Sarah, there is no way that you're going to be able to pull off a red blush, but I'm actually wearing it right now. And it's not that intense on me the way that I applied it. I applied it with this stippling brush, which gives it more of a diffused look and it just kind of adds a little flush of color. Um, but I really like the tone of it. I think that a red blush can be pulled off by anybody if you're using it sparingly or if you have darker skin, then you can definitely use it um, a little bit more intensely so that it shows a little bit more. Um, but the red blush that I love is this one. It's one of the new cream blushes by Fenty Beauty and this is so pretty. Uh, it's in the shade Daiquiri Dip. Let me open it for you. So if you can see, it's like red. This is a red blush and I'll go ahead and swatch it on my hand as well for you because I know that the little bit of the color on my cheeks is not really going to show the true color, but it almost looks like a lipstick on my hand. It is such an intense red 
which I love for people who have deeper skin tones that, you know, just want a really red blush, like, go ahead and do it, girl, because for me, I can't do it. I wish I could. My skin is too pale. I would look insane. Ow. My cat just bit me. <laughs> but, um, I really love the color of this blush, and I think it looks really pretty on. Um... I really like cream products lately. I've been sort of doing a more natural face um, with cream bronzers and blushes, um, really lightweight face products because overall I'm relatively happy with my skin and I like to let it kind of shine through. Um, so I've been gravitating more towards those sheer dewy products that are going to give my skin the sort of glowy, um, natural look. So next I'm going to talk about the lip products and I'll go ahead and swatch them on my lips so that you can see them. But the products that I love the most of red are red lips. I think that if you just throw on some mascara and a red lip it can really just be like a look and you don't have to do a whole lot of extra stuff for your makeup. Hello. Would you like to say hi? Kitty? She loves when I film because she thinks that I'm talking to her, <laughs> which to be fair, from a cat's perspective, it probably seems like I am. Um, but my first red lip product, I have talked about this before and I will probably talk about it again because I love it that much, is the Red Wedding Lip Gloss. Um, I showed it in my everyday makeup routine or something similarly named. Um, this lip gloss is my favorite color and I'll go ahead and put it on. I just blot it out over my lips and then let it be like that. Um, it's just like the perfect red. I think that it looks good on everybody. Um, I've let my mom try it. I've let my friends try it. I've really been like, here, you have to try this lip gloss <laughs> to everybody. And I just think it's like the perfect red because it's almost like that blood red color so it's almost like a burgundy but it's not quite opaque so it's not like an intense red lip it still looks very wearable um whatever that means I mean I wear blue lipstick so but wearable and I think that it's just just such a pretty color and I love the way that it looks on the lips because it kind of just gives the illusion that you just have really red lips. Um, I don't know. And focus. I think I'm going crazy. Okay, so I'm going to go in order of the products that are easiest to take off, obviously. So I did this lip gloss. Next product will be the NARS lipstick in the shade Lana. Looks like this in the packaging. And it's this really pretty orange red, which is not my favorite red usually. I usually like blue based reds a lot more, but for some reason this color just really speaks to me. Um, the first time that I tried it on, I was in love. Um, so I'll go ahead and put it on and then I'll show you what it looks like. I probably could have included this color in the orange one. Just looking at it, it probably looks pretty orange on camera. Um, but I don't know. I feel like it's an orange red. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm crazy. Tell me if you think it's orange <laughs> or if you think it's red. Just let me know. Uh, but I really like this color. Um, not the best for your teeth. Uh, these orange base reds usually aren't. Blue base reds are going to make your teeth look much whiter. Uh, orange base reds are going to make them look yellower. That's just kind of how they are. Um, but I really like this color and I think it's really a great color. It's one of those colors that you can just throw on with some mascara and some eyeliner maybe and just like rock it. So the next product I'm going to talk about is by ColourPop. I, if you can't tell already, I love me some ColourPop. 
Um, and this is one of their princess lipsticks. And this is in the shade Snow White. So Snow White is more of a blue based red if you want one of those. And it's almost, I guess it's almost a burgundy. I think it's just like a true deep blue red, but I'll show you what it looks like on. <clears throat> so excuse the messy application, but this is what it looks like on. And I just think it's like the perfect red. If you're looking for a true, tried and true red lipstick, it's, oh my goodness, I can't stop looking at myself in the viewfinder, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but it is just such a pretty color and I think that it looks just fantastic on, um, especially with this eyeshadow. I'm kind of feeling myself. Um, but yeah, so that's what it looks like on. The next product I'm going to talk about is this one by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and this is in the shade Seraphine. Let's see if I can get you to see. Uh, Seraphine, which is just the prettiest red. I swear to you, every time I wear this red lipstick, somebody compliments me on it. They're just like, what are you wearing on your lips? So I'll show you what it looks like on right now. So this is what it looks like on, and it is so pretty. It's probably my favorite red lipstick I own, and that's really saying something because I own a ton of red lipsticks. Um, it's probably between this one and the next one, which I will show you in a second, but every time I wear this lip color, I get compliments. Everybody asks me what I'm wearing. I think that it's a red that could suit any skin tone because it's just deep enough where it's almost kind of got that vampy look to it, but it's not too vampy. So I think, I don't know. This one with the red mascara by ColourPop, they're like a match made in heaven. They are like so pretty together. It's insane. Maybe if you want to see that look, I will film it. Just let me know down below if you want to see me do a look with this lipstick, but I, I love it. It's so pretty. And it's one of those blues that'll make your teeth look whiter. So yay. The next lipstick I'm going to talk about is this one by Black Moon Cosmetics. Now you'll have to excuse the packaging because it's a little bit of a hot mess because I kept it in my purse and it kind of leaked a little bit. <laughs> Um, but it's this one right here, and it's in the shade DeVille. This is a metallic red, which I also, every time I wear it, everybody wants to know what I'm wearing on my lips. And it is really unfortunate because, um, like right now I work at a cosmetics company and I can't sell anybody this because Black Moon is only online. Um, I really wish that Black Moon was carried in like Sephora or Ulta or something where you could like see it in person and just see how beautiful. Um, Black Moon Cosmetics is probably one of my favorite cosmetics companies aside from ColourPop. Um, they just, everything about their formulas are amazing. Um, the colors that they do are amazing. I really love their metallic liquid lipsticks. Um, those are probably my favorite. Um, the, I think they're called Black Metal line, but they're just so pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on and then I'll show you what it looks like. So that is what it looks like on. Um, I, I don't know. I know I said the last one was probably my favorite, but this one's also my favorite. They're both my favorite. I love both of these colors so much. They're just like the perfect red, but one's metallic and one's not. So it's up to you, but I really love this one. Um, but yeah, so those are all of my favorite red products. Uh, I hope you liked this video. If you would like to see me use any of these products in a look, just let me know and uh, stay tuned for my next video, which will be my orange color video. So I hope you liked this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.